brought to you by the community of certified B Corporations. Hard acts to follow. I'm Steve Sheath. The U is silent. I grew up in a little town in Iowa. My dad owned a hardware store. I can remember working there when I was five years old. I can remember waiting on the people, you know, serving customers, and I learned the value of customer service. And I learned the value of values. I learned the value of purpose at an age when I didn't even know that's what I was learning. So now I'm here representing First Affirmative Financial Network. We're a company that manages money for socially conscious investors, people who want to make money and have a positive impact with their money. How many of you have heard of impact investing? Okay, how many of you think that impact investing is only for rich people who can you know, take the risk and, and put money into a private equity kind of deal? I'm sure you know, many of you represent organizations that have impact investors at this point. How many of you think you have to have a lot of money to be an investor? Really? I guess I'm surprised. For those of you that don't think that you're an investor right now, just be honest with yourself. If you don't think you're an investor right now, think about this. Aren't you invested in the organization you work with, for? Aren't you invested in this, the vibrancy of this community? Don't you pay rent? You know, don't you have a car? You know, do, how many don't have a credit card in their pocket right now? Anybody? Two. Okay, three. I get the privilege of following Vince and Kirby, for that matter, who both talked a little bit about money and a little bit about the use of money, a little bit about investing. And my story goes like this. I'm 35 years now in the financial services industry in one capacity or another. In 1989, I met the two founders of Calvert, Calvert Investments, Wayne Silby and John Guffey. I was actually, believe it or not, at that time, kind of on a little bit of hiatus. I was director of development at the Wharton School, and I started to cultivate these two guys as potential donors to the Wharton School. Funny thing happened, though. That never actually happened. They turned me on to what we then called socially responsible investing. And I began to connect the dots between money and values. I began to understand how, as investors, we could really have a positive impact on the world. I began to understand how all investments, in fact, all money, has impact. The question is, are we paying attention? The question is, are we consciously directing our money, whether it's a purchase or whether it's a gift or whether it's an investment, in a manner that's really designed to or intended to make the world a better place? And the answer to that question is there are a plethora of opportunities to do that, everything from the bank account that you have, to the credit card, the, the, you know, the company behind your credit card, uh, everything to the retirement plan. How many of you have, retirement, have investments in retirement plans? Okay, for those of you that don't, get started now. It's really important to start early. This, and that's maybe the most important thing. The second most important thing is you invest your money in a mutual fund or in a, you know, some sort of an investment strategy that is designed to create returns for you to help you fund your retirement, to live the way you want to in retirement, but also to make the world a better place somehow, okay? There are many, many ways to do that. I want to give you one example that actually just popped up on my screen last week. Apple. Everybody knows Apple. Investors like myself have been agitating with that company for years, trying to get them to do a recycling program. In 2015, Apple recycled 90 million pounds of electronic waste. Among the 90 million pounds of waste, there were 2,204 pounds of gold. Anybody have an idea what the price of gold is per ounce? $1,257 an ounce. So Apple and Apple shareholders benefited from $43 million in gold found in the trash. Now, would they have done that without being pushed by investors? Maybe. But we're going to take credit for it anyway. <laughs> because that's what we do. You know, we make investments and then we incur in pretty good companies, and then we encourage those companies to be even better, to be even more responsible corporate citizens. So on behalf of First Affirmative, 
certified B Corp, a proud certified B Corp. I want to thank you for your time. Most importantly, I want to thank you for what you do, for who you are, and for the purpose that you bring to everything in your life, your professional life as well as your personal life. Thank you very much.